That's it, nothing to separate them. It is penalties. Both sets of players have run themselves into the ground here, Peter. And as extra times go, I think I'll remember this for a while. 120 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive, and now this is it. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. And he does it with poise. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. And so the captain steps up. Never looked in doubt, really. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. And stepping up, the skipper. Well, you can't approach a penalty with any doubt, or you'll have to rely on luck. So, the second man in line. That's a good penalty! I thought he handled the pressure really well there. His focus cut right through it. The third man in the queue. Pick your spot, don't change your mind, and the keeper should be neutralised. The third man in the queue. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. João Cancelo is the fourth man to step up. And in with absolute accuracy. You need a very strong mind in those situations. Any penalty that goes in is a good one. Oh, it's a really good save. Well, it was a possibility of happening like that, the way he was moving beforehand, very good save. And there it is, the decisive kick. Spain falls short in the lottery that is the penalty shootout, as cruel as that is. The two sides had been inseparable after two hours of action. Well, how will we look back on that? Well, you can Please never predict.